Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrated. Otherwise, the New Year's is just around the corner, so Happy New Year to everybody. I am here to share a lot of goodies unboxings and everything here. I wanted to thank each and every one of you for supporting me all through this year, whether it's by just watching my videos, leaving me a comment, following me here on my YouTube channel or my Instagram account. So every little thing really makes my day and I wanna thank each and every one of you who have played a part in it. I am so glad I have this outlet to share a lot of my favorite things and some of my not so favorite things with you. Um, anything to do with travel, luxury, fashion, handbags, and uh, spoiler, there is a handbag unboxing in this video today. I love these videos. I really like watching what other people get and how excited they are when they open their presents. So I am here to share mine. I am not here to brag. So if you don't like this, definitely sign off. Just take my happy holiday message and <laughs> have a really good day. If you are interested in what I got, these are not all the things. I did have a couple others, I think. Um, but I'd rather share that with just my family, uh, that moment with my family, so I hope you understand. I will be um, uploading this, I think, the day after Christmas. So yeah, uh, by now, I think all of you would have opened your presents if you know you celebrate it, but yeah. Again, I hope you guys loved what you got. I hope you guys have a great time with your family, friends. I hope you enjoy this video as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also do fashion travel, luxury, so if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I will have to go a little bit quick here, otherwise this is a very long video. But if there are any items that I could find, I'll link it below if you're interested. There are also a ton of sales. I already saw a ton of them coming through. So I will try to do an other video with sales and everything that are coming up. If I have time, I will do my best. I do wanna spend this time again with my friends and family. So uh, I'll do my best. Some of these gifts here are gifted to me. Some of them are things I bought myself. Some of them are from brands, but they're all sprinkled in here. I'll try to list everything below, like I said. But yeah, let's get started. The first one here, this one is a surprise. This one is from Chanel. I didn't think this would be available anymore. And actually, if you see my previous videos, you would have known that I missed out on this because of like a sourcing issue from the Nordstrom that I had originally ordered it from. But um, my essay was a saint, saw it randomly and then decided to call me. It's their holiday kits. These are all sold out. You can still get them sort of in the, I guess, resale market. Um, I've seen a bunch, so yeah, you can still find them. Sometimes they're marked up a little bit, but uh, you know, it may not be a bad idea if you really like these. I got this set. This is in the red tweed. The tweed is so beautiful and you know, it's, I think the reason why they're so popular is because they are fairly affordable for a Chanel piece and you get the bag. So just to show you what I got. I think you can probably guess what I got um, if you if you saw my previous video. And it is the combination of the Le Beige Deep Tan Bronzer. So it's in this little container. And the other piece is their retractable Kabuki brush, which you do this and then you can kind of bronze all throughout. I was very intrigued by this bronzer. And I mean, this Kabuki brush is just an extra plus. I'm glad I got this, and I'm also really glad I got this really pretty uh, makeup bag, um, which you can convert. There are tons of ways you can still try to convert this into like a crossbody bag. It's not as easy as previous years, but it is doable. If you're crafty, you can definitely do it. If not, I would say look in the resale market and find an older option, and then you can easily put a chain on, the, on either end of this bag. So I'm gonna hop over here. This is a Dior piece. This is actually a piece I ordered from the Dior Boutique Beauty Sales Advisor. Um, he is really, really nice. I have been shopping with him for so long. Um, this is their 2022 holiday print. Um, you might have seen it in my previous unboxings. I don't have this box before, so this is new to me, but let's open it and see what's inside. I love this packaging. It's like this deep blue and it has this gorgeous gold 
guilt guilt okay here's <laughs> A little card it says happy holidays it's from my essay so he is he always packages my things really pretty and oh, here we are wow okay this is quite heavy um and so let me okay it's beautifully packaged there's tons of it's gonna be too dark to see but there's like folded tissue paper padded in here um yeah it's beautiful he definitely did a good job on the packaging he always does this is what was in the box this is a beautiful piece if you slide it open it looks like this this box is a piece of art in itself look at this constellation design i love it um and this is part of the prestige line so you open it like this there are this there's this little like ribbon thing and i'm not sure what this is i think this is just a yeah it's just to hold things in place oh it smells so good um there's a little booklet here it's probably to tell you information about these pieces so there are three little candles here these are beautifully designed this one's amber nuit which is amber night i think um oh it smells so good there's also another one here. This one is in a blue, navy, blue, dark navy blue. Um, this one is in Jardine d'Orangers. I'm butchering it, but it smells like oranges. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then finally we have this one, which is in the holiday print. And this is the 30 Montaigne, which, oh my gosh, I have been burning mine. Let me show you mine. So this is the 30 Montaigne from, I think last year, but I've been burning it all year. I'm almost done with it. This one from this year is much smaller, actually. You can see, oh my God, it's tiny. I'm gonna go through this one so quick, but this one is beautiful. This is the last year's print. Um, Mm, smells so good. I'm so glad I have a backup now, um, but I'm also really glad that I have two other scents to try. I am very excited about this. Um, so yeah, I will try to link this below. I know they sell it at other locations as well. I actually got this one from the Nordstrom uh, Beauty, Dior Beauty. So they do also sell on Dior. I will link whatever is still available below. Next up, I wanted to share with you this. This is from 24S, which is 24 Sever. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it is a French department store that um, is part of the LVMH brand. So they do stock Louis Vuitton, Dior, Celine, all of those things. Um, I had a voucher from here, so I decided to purchase it. But look how beautiful this design is. So it's beautifully decorated. And inside there is this box. So let me just slide this out. So there's a magnetic closure here and inside it says from Paris with love and there is a little scarf in here. Um, there's also more prints and details inside this box that's really pretty. So um, this is a map. This is a map of Paris. I don't know if you can even see that. What I ended up getting in the voucher is this beautiful scarf. This is a silk cashmere blend um, from Louis Vuitton. And you can see it's actually extremely large. Um, yeah, I, it won't fit on screen and it's still folded in half, but I'll bring it closer so you can see the monogram details. It's like a beige pink color with this um, black frill kind of edging. So it's beautiful. I've always wanted one of these. Actually, I have many times wanted to get one, but I've always then shied away because I've heard that there were extremely bad uh, pulling of the threads when people wear them. But I thought finally, you know what, just get it. Like things that will happen to your stuff, but it feels so soft, so nice, so warm, um, but not like thick and chunky. So it definitely will layer very well. Um, so yeah, I could see myself wearing it in the winter, but all like spring as well. Um, yeah, just something really nice to drape over. I will keep you posted on whether I snag this, um, you know, and like start pulling at strings or whatever. But yeah, I, I'm hoping I could keep it and use it for a long time, but I'll keep you posted. So this one is from the 24s.com. They do have Louis Vuitton pieces. I will link them below um, if you're interested in this piece. There are some pieces that are from their Louis Vuitton 
like section that is cheaper than where Louis Vuitton would sell it. So this piece is actually one of them. And um, if you were to buy this full price, I don't remember what the pricing is exactly. I'll pop it up here, a screenshot here, but this one was cheaper. There are other pieces that are the same price. So I mean, you're not losing it out on it, but definitely you can find some pieces that are less expensive. I, I think I've gotten questions about 24S before. It is legit. It is a department store. This is the tag from Louis Vuitton. This is an authentic piece, just in case you were wondering. Next up, I'll come here with this small piece. This one's actually a gift from the Sarah Flint team. I am an ambassador for them, but I've also purchased stuff from them. So I believe they do send out this holiday gift for people who buy a certain amount from them or is an ambassador that have sold a certain amount uh, for them. So I'm not sure which category I fall into, but I'm very, very pleased and very honored to receive a special piece. And let's see what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so if you've been here before, you'll know that I have talked about their beautiful prints. Um, this is their floral print, and I believe this is a silk piece. Let's see, it's handmade in Italy. Yep, it's 100% silk. It's a very short twilly and it will go beautifully if you like wrap it around your bag handle or something and you can see how it could be um, just dressed onto your bags. You can put it in your hair, you can put it on your wrist, but yeah, this is a beautiful silk twilly and it is made um, with their beautiful signature print. So, oh, this is beautiful. I've always loved this print and I'm so glad now I have it in a silk twilly. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'm gonna give it a good thought, but it's a really interesting length. It's not um, any length that I have, so this will be a really good addition to my accessory collection. Next up, I'm gonna come here with this Chanel box. This is actually from the Chanel Beauty website. And so they do have a very beautiful ribbon for their holiday season. This is this year's season. And I know I have seen other, you know, designs, but yeah, it's the beautiful ribbon. Otherwise the box is completely the same as their other beauty pieces. Um, let's open that. There's a little card here. Um, the Chanel little sticker inside always comes with like a little black baggie, um, which I have. Oh, there's a little note here that says wishing you a joyous holiday season and dazzling new year and it has the number five on one side. And then I got the serum, uh, Camellia Rouge serum. This is the number one, the beauty line from Chanel. And then I also got as these are samples, um, the sublimage, sublimage um, essence. So this is for your face and um, it's a concentrate. So it's really good to bring on vacation. And so I always love these little goodies and inside and inside I end up getting the number one de Chanel. So the skincare line that is for the body. So it's a serum for your body um, and it's a mist. So I was very interested because you can shake it up and then you can spray it. Um, so it's like a lotion for your, your body and yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. Cause like, I know some people don't like that, you know, creamy, balmy consistency that you have to rub on your legs or on your body. So the spray might be a good option. And so yeah, it looks intriguing. I'm excited to give it a try, especially during this drier, like colder months. Um, yeah, so I'll let you know how this goes. And if I like it, I'll definitely recommend it. But I'll link, list this below if you're even excited at all about this spray on body mist serum idea. <laughs> all right, next up I have sitting down here. It's quite heavy, so I can't prop it up for long, but this is from, as you can see, Steamline Luggage. I have purchased a couple, actually three pieces from them already at different times um, and I loved it. So I ended up getting this when it went on sale. And so let me just show you. They come in these beautiful boxes and also in a beautiful dust bag. So in the dust bag is my newest piece. This is very unique. I don't think I would have gotten anything from this from anywhere else. It is a hat box. Um, it does come with a small handle, which is still wrapped up. And it is, um, how should I say it? Very circular because it's supposed to hold a hat, which is generally circular. And the 
container or this I guess suitcase is opened up by this latch on either side here and then it opens up like so it is in this beautiful print I don't have anything like this one and yeah it comes with even like a little strap that you can wear um, on your shoulder so this one is a, sh a short one that can hook across your luggage it's like a trolley strap i believe that's what they call it and then this um kind of rose gold color strap which is still tied up can go on your shoulder so i'm not gonna do that up right now just for the sake of time but um i will insert a, p a, a picture of what it would look like if you were to wear it but i am excited because i have a lot of these pieces and i don't know if i'm gonna put my hat in it per se but I will definitely be able to store like handbags or accessories, something that is like a little bit more delicate. That I don't want to get jumbled up in my main suitcase. I can definitely use this as a carry on. So this is what it looks like. They do come in different sizes. So if you do want it for a hat, they do have bigger sizes hats. Um, boxes and if you do want a bigger size for accessories they also do have that as well and of course they come with so many different colors all of my steamline luggage have held up pretty well so far i've used it um a handful of times each year and they do look really good although i do have to protect them when i am traveling so sometimes there's like a little um sleeve over it but yeah i do i do take extra care but yeah, they are beautiful. So um, I don't think this is on sale anymore, but they might have a sale in the new year. So I'll be sure to include it in my next video if they do. Yes, you guessed it, another Dior box. This one also came from my essay and it is a beauty item. It is heavy and he, he notified me of a sale. So of course I had to take advantage. Dior pieces going on sale is not very common, but when they do, you kind of have to stock up. So <laughs> that's what happened here. Okay. Wow, there's a ton of stuff in here. So these are all skincare or body care or makeup pieces. And so there is this waterproof eyeliner. It's um, one that I've been using. I do really like it. This is a liquid eyeliner and it is also waterproof and I have used this one. Um, I actually really like it as well. So glad to get those on sale. There is this, um, I believe, oh yeah, this is a uh, serum makeup. And so this one is in 2N. Um, so it's very interesting because this one actually is like a skincare but also a makeup item so it looks like this there is a tint to it but it is a serum so it does have a lot of age defying components and it has some coverage but it also has spf 20 so it's like a three in one so i'll give it a try to see if i like it but if it is good that's great news in for those days where you just want a little bit something extra to cover up because you know you didn't get enough sleep or something here we have a um, la mousse micellier so this is a face wash i have never tried this it's a cl this cleansing foam material so i'm excited this was recommended by my essay so we'll see how you know i like it underneath this is um another prestige line piece this is the micro lotion and i have the other one the prestige line but i have the white one this one's the pink one so i've already tried that one in a smaller size so i got the large size now and then here is the sakura scent i have gotten a body wash of this and now i got the body lotion so i'm really excited again i'm not going to open any of these because it's going to take a long time but um i will pop up photos so you can see what they look like and finally here this is a gift my essay included this i think it's part of the purchase if you buy something you get a gift so here i have the capture youth this one is the age delay eye treatment nathan will love this one so this is a gift um if you spend a certain amount so this is an amazing piece. this is like a full size so that's actually really good this pouch is beautiful of course it's like a velvet material and it has these little seed the um, prints on the inside. It is also this sort of almost uh, not nylon, but it's definitely more of like a waterproofy material. So it's definitely nice. And okay, so inside this really well wrapped um, gift is here. This is the Micro Rose um, Oil a Serum. 
There is also a Capture Total Dream Skin, another makeup travel piece, and then a Dior Show Mascara. This is the Iconic Over Curl, so it, again, another travel piece. And then three Eau de Parfums. One is Holy Peony. I don't think I've smelled this one, so I'm excited to give this one a try. There's also Oud Isafan. I think I've had this one before. And then Rose Kabuki, which I think I've also smelled and I definitely do like it. So excited. They all fit into this beautiful um, velvet bag, which is very holiday. Uh, I'm very excited. So thank you so much to my essay for always taking care of me. And I will list all the stuff below. All right, we're going down to the last couple here. I actually have a box that's sitting here. This is an Hermes box, um, but I'm not gonna open it now because I'm gonna save it for um, the family time. But yeah, it's also for somebody, so I'm not gonna touch it. But this one is for myself, and so I will open this one with you. I am very excited. If you've seen my vlog recently, you'll know that I um, saw a bunch of really cool things, but this is just a little something small. Um, don't know if you can guess what it is. And it is a scarf. Um, so I have two scarves already. I have one scarf that my husband got for me. It's a 100% silk, um, very, I think, square scarf. And another one that I purchased that is a washable silk scarf, which I love. Um, they have different textures and um, the 100% silk one, I've worn even as a top and it's very nice feeling for the summertime, but not so much for the winter time. Um, this one is a, definitely more of a winter scarf. This one is a blend of silk and cashmere, so very similar to the Louis Vuitton one here, except I think it's more um, substantial and a little bit more, less delicate. So um, it is huge as well. So this one is the 140 by 140 square. I don't know if you can see it. You can, I'm gonna tr quickly try to like wrap it up here so that you can see what it kind of looks like draped. I love these beautiful orange and blue colors and yeah, they just look so good. There's so many ways to wear these. Um, draping it like what I just did is one way, but yeah, you can definitely wear it many different ways. This one, this print, they have so many different kinds. Um, there's like one on the beach, there's one like, I don't know, buildings, but this one is the, uh, Brides de Gala, and it is some of Hermes's favorite um, prints to put onto like scarves, clothing. Um, yeah, so you'll see this a lot. It's the horse harness, so yeah, it's it's beautiful. I love the art, the different coloring, the sort of geometric shapes of th this. Um, so it's more abstract, but yeah, I I just love the colors. It it really I really gravitate it towards it. So it was hard to choose between this one and there was another pastel color which I also loved. But ultimately, the big um, block edges trim here really stole my heart. So I had to get this one. Um, it feels again very soft, very nice, but still warm without being bulky. And so I'm excited to give this one a try. It is huge. So there are different ways that I think I could wear it. I'd have to look that up, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you. So the last piece I have is sitting right here. It's in this a beautiful pink box and it is from Senrev, one of my favorite brands. Um, this is a San Francisco brand. It is made in Italy and I have a ton of their bags if you've been here before. Just for disclosure, I am an ambassador, but I did buy this with my own money. Um, I will hopefully have more to show you next year. Um, the brand has been changing a lot of personnel, so it's been a little bit hard to get a hold of them. So um, yeah, I'll keep you posted next year. Hopefully I have a lot more to show you than this year, but uh, I'm really glad to have gotten this before the end of the year. It's sitting right here in the center. Um, I did have, a, I think, a story or reel on my, on my Instagram showing you uh, when I went shopping for this. So if you're interested in seeing that, then head over to my Instagram. Well, I love this tissue paper, this rose gold, and it just says Sunrev. It's a little different than last year. All right, any guesses as to what this might be? I have not seen it since the store and they shipped a, a brand new one to me. So, and 
it is here. Let me take this off because it is really wrapped up to protect this bag. So here it is, my brand new Senrev bag. This is the mini Kavala satchel and it is, uh, well, it's pretty new in their line. The Kavala is one of their newest lines and I really love it. I have been wanting to get my hands on this, but like I said, there has been some delays. This one is made of a new leather. This is the Piccola leather and it is very soft, like the Dulce leather, if you guys have that one from Senrav before, but it is supposed to be more durable. So I'll be testing it out just to see and let you know. I grabbed this in the mini size, but they also have one size up um, from my frame on 5.1, you can see it actually does fit me really well. The one size up is a little bigger. I did try those on while in the store, so I'll try to insert a clip here. But this one, yeah, it does come in four different colors. I chose it in the black color. And let me just show you around the bag. So there is this um, clasp. This is what makes it the Kavala line because this buckle is a little different and you can hold it like this. So if I want it to, I can hold it like a clutch like so, but you can also dress it up differently. So, but let me just show you, you open it kind of like this. There's like a little um, magnetic closure here and then you slide this up. Very stuffed right now. I can show you that the inside looks like this. So you can see this is where the magnetic closure is and it snaps down here. And there is their signature interior micro suede blue lining. Um, and you can see that the bag is fairly, you know, simple. It does have two slip card pockets right here. I don't know if you can see, but where my hand is right there, there are two slip pockets for cards and then on this back side there is a zipper pocket right here so you can see that it zips a close and then like that i didn't realize this trying on in the store but it looks like the metal hardware uh, are black so you can see that this is actually i mean this is like a dark gunmetal but all of this even if i peeled off that little blue sticker you can see that the metal is black and then same with the zipper comp compartment the the metal is black so that's very interesting and so there is also a slip pocket in the back here so it's a very roomy slip pocket i have my pixel 5 here and so you can see i can slip it in full lengthwise and there are still space here and here so if you have a longer phone it would also fit and so yeah that's where it goes and there's like a little tab down here so you can grab your phone very easily but if you also wanted to put it on the inside you can so it'll sit right there but yeah this bag does fit quite a bit and i can do an updated review comparison uh, later i also wanted to show you that this strap here which they shipped it um, wrapped around the body of this bag, which is definitely one way you can wear it. But if you were to remove it, so you can see like how the snap is here. If the belt were here, you just have to slide it behind the belt. But if I were to take off this belt, so now you can wear it as a clutch with without the the belt around, but you can also keep the belt, turn it the other way so that the buckle is now on the outside and you can wear it as a belt bag. So, so you can wear it as a belt bag. I have it over this uh, blazer, so it's a little on the tight. I have to put it on the last um, hole, so yeah, but you can wear it there. You can also obviously put any belt on this bag So this is what I have right now. It's a little on the bigger side But if you're taller than me, um, it, you know, if, if your frames a little bigger you might be okay But of course you can remove this belt altogether and put in your own belt your leather belt whatever um, That you like and yeah, the other way to wear it would be to put this belt through here, so there are two hoops and so if you looped it through there, you can create this shoulder piece. Um, so, so like that, close the bag. And then now you have this shoulder piece and you can wear your bag like this. 
but there is also another way. Um, you can see that there are some D-rings here and here, so you can attach a chain uh, that goes around. Senrev does have chains that you can use, um, but if you have your own chain from another bag or if you have a chain from Next Fashion, I've, I've reviewed these before, uh, in a previous video, but you can hook that right there and then you can wear it on your shoulder like that. So it'll look like this and you can definitely dress it up because of the chain. You can also put a, you know, guitar strap, a leather strap um, that you have from another bag. And since you're not using the strap anymore for, you know, wearing purposes, you can also put it back in here for decoration purposes. So, I'm just gonna... so there we go, putting it back. So it has that look, which I love. And then there's an extra strap that you can just loop back on the back side. So it, it's not like just hanging there. So yeah, that would be the bag. And then, so you can wear it crossbody as well. And it does look dressed up. I would probably pair it with a different chain because this is like a darker, you know, material. But yeah, you can open your bag like this, rummage inside, close it back like that. So it's very secure. Even if you don't snap the magnetic closure, um, this little flap won't come out if you just slide it underneath this uh, belt loop here. So it looks like that. You can also just leave it like this as well. So yeah, like there's many ways to wear this bag, which I love. It's fairly lightweight. I wanna say it's lighter than the Dulce leather and it does definitely feel more supple than the Mimosa leather or the pebbled leather. So I, I do think that that's really nice. I love the big back pocket, despite it being a smaller bag. I will definitely wear it a bunch and then give you an update in about two months. I'm excited to have a new Senrev bag in my collection. It's been a while and I hope you guys, I know a lot of you are interested, a lot of you do like this, so I will keep you posted. By the way, I did get this on mega sale. I believe they had a discount on this piece, but I was able to use a, a promo code as well. So if this is still available, I will list it below. You can definitely click on the link and um, it will give you an extra $50 off of this sale piece automatically. Um, as long as the total is over $300, you'll get $50 off using that link. So yes, definitely take advantage of that. I always love getting things like on sale because then you save a little bit of money, but you still get the same beautiful piece. Again, this one does come in different colors, so I will note that below. I hope you guys enjoyed these unboxings, and I hope you guys also had a very happy holidays. I will see you guys soon in my next video in the next year. Until then, wishing you and your family a very happy holiday and happy new year. Take care, guys. Bye.